Fuel injection is widely used in most modern day engines and it's especially seen in pretty much all gasoline cars and trucks. But what is a fuel injector and what does it do? What is injector duty cycle, flow rate, and pulse width? In this video, we're going to be going over just that. My name is Cash and you're watching Cashed Out Cars and today we're going to be learning about gasoline fuel injectors together. So let's jump right in. To start, a fuel injector does pretty much exactly what it sounds like it does. It sprays or injects a finite amount of fuel into your car's engine at a specific time. Now there's different kinds of injection, but that's a video for another day and today we're basically just going to focus on fuel injectors themselves and how they work. But before we get into injectors themselves, we need to go over some basics of how engines work which will get you up to speed on what an injector's job is. So engines run at a specific ratio of fuel to air and this is called the stoichiometric ratio. This is based on the chemical makeup of gasoline and air or whatever other fuel you're running in your car. And this basically is where the engine needs to be running to be happy. For gasoline engines, that ratio is about one part fuel to 14.7 parts air, and this is the ratio of fuel to air that the engine must maintain in order to be running good, not burning too much fuel, and not burning not enough fuel. Now, I'm not going to go too in depth on this subject in this video, but the basics that you need to know is there's that set ratio, 14.7 parts air to fuel, that your engine is going to maintain most of the time while it's running. Now sometimes there is slight variation from this depending on load conditions and engine RPM, but in general your engine is maintaining a certain ratio of fuel to air at all times to make sure it's running well and healthy and making sure you're getting the power and efficiency that you want to get out of it. So you now know that it is a fuel injector's job to spray fuel into your engine and that your engine must maintain a pretty specific ratio of air to fuel in order to run well. But how does a fuel injector play into this and how does it really work? Well, your vehicle's fuel system is pressurized from the fuel pump, which pushes fuel over to the engine bay, which is where you have your fuel rail and your injectors. Now, the fuel pump forces fuel into your fuel rail, which is where your injectors plug in, and this fuel rail is regulated by a fuel pressure regulator that keeps the pressure on the fuel rail pretty much constant. Now your injectors all plug into the fuel rail and from there your injectors spray fuel into your engine. Like I said there are a couple different types of injection but for this video we're going to sort of consider them all the same because the injectors purpose in all is pretty much the same. When it's time your vehicle's ECU or engine control unit sends an electric signal to your fuel injector through those two prongs right there where they plug in to open up the fuel injector. Now since the pressurized fuel is already in there ready to be sprayed, that electric signal opens up an electromagnet that's inside this injector, which in turn opens a valve and allows the pressurized fuel to escape through your injector into your engine. Now that pressurized fuel goes through a spray nozzle which atomizes the fuel and basically turns it into a really fine mist that's easily combustible. And that is what your engine needs to burn and the amount of fuel that is injected into the engine depends on how long the injector stays open. Like we talked about earlier, the amount of fuel that the engine will need at any time will depend on engine load and engine RPM, and different operating conditions for your engine will require your injectors to be open for a different amount of times. If you want more fuel, there's going to be a longer signal, which means that your injector is going to be open longer. And if you want less fuel, you're going to have a shorter signal, which means that your injector is going to open quick and then close back up. Now, the amount of time that the injector is open is called pulse width. So the pulse width is the amount of time that your injector is open and actually spraying fuel. This amount of time is generally measured in milliseconds because these things open and close extremely fast as you can see in the videos that are playing on screen right now. But a fuel injector can't stay open forever to ensure that enough fuel is in your engine. This is because when your engine's running, there's going to become a time when your engine has to ignite that fuel that's in the cylinder in order to make power, and then the whole cycle starts over and you're going to be spraying fuel again into the engine. To talk about this, we use the term duty cycle, which is the ratio of how long the injector is open to how long the engine cycle is. 
Now, this value will never exceed 100% because you can't run a fuel injector longer than the entire engine cycle because the next cycle is going to start up. And in general, with fuel injectors, you want to keep the duty cycle less than 80% which will ensure that you get good performance out of your fuel injectors and you get a long life out of them. Once you exceed 80%, you're really pushing the fuel injectors more than they were intended, and there's a good chance that you're gonna damage them, shorten the life, and in general, have a bad time with your injectors. But what happens if you need more fuel and your duty cycle is already very high on your injectors? What happens if your injectors are maxed out and you're throwing boost at your car and you really need more fuel that your injectors can't supply? Well, you really have two options here. One, you can increase the fuel pressure in your system, which means that more fuel will be forced through your injectors in the same amount of time because more pressure equals more flow rate through them. The other option that you can do is upgrade your injectors to ones with a higher flow rate. Now, often when you're looking at injectors, you're gonna see a rating in pounds per hour or CCs, and CCs is cubic centimeters per minute of flow of fuel. So the higher number that you see, whether it be in CCs or pounds per hour, means that your injector will flow more fuel per amount of time that it's open. Often, it's a lot easier to upgrade your injectors than upgrade other components of your fuel system, including the pump or buying a fuel management unit. So, like I said, higher flow rate, higher CCs, or higher pounds per hour means more fuel, but there is a limit to that, and eventually you will have to upgrade your fuel pump. So, although higher CCs does mean more fuel, it also can lead to problems if you upgrade them too much. Now, a much bigger fuel injector than stock, one, won't run with a stock ECU because the computer is going to have no idea that you upgraded to a bigger injector and that it's dumping more fuel in than intended. And also, injectors with higher flow rates get sloppy and have trouble at lower RPMs, specifically idle, because since it could only let a bigger amount of fuel in than what was originally in the car, it opens and closes a bit slower and it's hard for that big flow rate injector to regulate fuel when it needs to open and close so fast to only let a small amount of fuel in at idle. So these are potential problems that you could run into when you're upgrading injectors. But if you're only doing a mild upgrade on your injectors, sort of like what I'm doing with my Miata here, putting these 420cc flow rate injectors in when the stocks are only 230, um, I shouldn't have too, too many problems with idle. But if you go huge, like if you're putting a 1000cc injector in that's older injector technology into an engine like this, you could run into idle problems and just not have a good time. Now, with that said, more modern injector technology is better because you'll get better spray patterns, better efficiency, and overall your engine will run better. And especially at lower RPM, if you're going with a high flow rate injector, a more modern injector is going to be better than an older one. Another thing that's very important when you're upgrading your injectors is making sure that they're all in good condition and that they're pretty much flow matched. And what that means is that all the injectors flow fuel at a very similar rate and that the spray nozzle is in good shape and gives a good spray pattern. Now, this is essential for your car to run well. And with older injectors, you could clean them up yourself or you could get them rebuilt. I want to extend a huge thank you to Restore Fuel Injectors. They did a great job on these RX-8 injectors, which are going in my Turbo Miata project here. And they basically took injectors that were out of a junkyard car and cleaned them up and made them look great. And um, they're just basically brand new injectors now. They were all flow tested and all the footage that you saw in this video that was of these injectors being tested was at their facility. So if you have old injectors that you want rebuilt, I would highly recommend them because they do a fantastic job rebuilding them and will basically give you brand new fuel injectors at the end of the day. So with all that said, that's going to wrap up this video on injectors. I hope you learn the basics of how they work, what duty cycle is, what pulse width is, and what flow rates are with injectors. If you want a more advanced video on injectors and a more in-depth video on calculations on how to size injectors and more in-depth information on how they work, leave a comment down below. I certainly can go more in-depth, but I think this is a really good start to get people learning about fuel injectors. Like this video if you liked it. If you want to see these injectors going into my Turbo Miata project, definitely check out the channel. 
And if you want your injectors restored, go through restorefuelinjectors.com. With all that said, thank you for watching and subscribe for more.